Hi, I'm Mark Emily on behalf of Expert Village. In this next segment, we're going to talk about how we measure hops and how we move through some of our early boreal operations. Now, in terms of measuring out your hops, you can either use an eyeball technique, which, eh, if I fold it right here and dump it out, that'll give me half, or you can actually use a scale, which will give you a much more accurate result. This isn't rocket science. It doesn't have to be perfect. Using your eye will be good enough. Now we're going to add some of our hops to our hop sack in preparation for their boil. Once again, not measuring exactly. That's roughly half of what I was looking for, so I'm going to tie that off. Or you can fill up your nylon grain bags, which can also double as hop sacks. Now that we've got a good rolling boil, we're going to go ahead and add our first hops. Get those nice and saturated under. And then we're going to start our timer. And once again, we're going to boil for a full 60 minutes. So this is going to be important. As you continue your boil, you're just going to want to make sure you keep a nice rolling boil and stir it occasionally to get your hops mixed up. And also make sure that there's no scalding on the bottom. With about 20 minutes left in the boil, I'm going to start adding in the rest of the malt extract. Now, I could actually take it off the heat and put it off to the side, but I'd like to keep this nice rolling boil going. So I'm just going to add it very, very slowly. And keep stirring the whole time while I'm adding it. Another tip that you may not see other places to get the most out of your extra container is to take a little dip into your pot with a nice clean jar, pour it into your container, very gently trying to minimize aeration, gently swirl it around to help dissolve the rest of the sugars that are in there, and then pour it back into your mix. 